everyone it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel I'm back with another video for you guys and this wig color is absolutely gorgeous in today's video I'm gonna be installing this glueless wig and I'm gonna show you guys how I cut and add layers to her as well if you guys want to see how I achieve it then please continue to watch now the wig that I'm rocking in today's video, it's from Unice and everything that you need for your wig is included in the package. You have the HD wig caps, we got some gorgeous nails and we also have a, a wig band as well. So this is what the wig looks like straight out of the package and I'm already loving it. So on the website, the description is like a reddish brown, but I do see a hint of orange. So it's kind of giving a little bit of a ginger. I'm gonna insert what the hair looks like in natural lighting because I am using studio lights. Now this is their new design of wig. It's the Bye Bye Knots, so you don't have to bleach the knots. They're already bleached to perfection. They're super, super tiny. And this is what the back looks like. It's really comfortable wear it because it has that kind of that elastic in the back, the adjustment bands in the back. So it doesn't make it uncomfortable to wear the wig and it has a comb in the back as well. Now this is what the sides of the wig looks like so it has like a c shape so you're able to work comfortably around your air and it's not like squeezing up your air or anything like that so it's a super comfortable glueless wig all the info will be listed in the description bar down below as well all right so now i'm going to go ahead and just pop that wig onto my head and this is how she is looking so i'm just going to adjust this and pull it down and yes it's not completely centered but we are getting there so it fits pretty well however i will say that this wig it is a bit big for my head size however i like the fact that the lace is already pre-cut and you can see at the sides mostly closure wigs they tend to go over the ear and then sometimes it can be uncomfortable it's like a c shape so it goes around the ear which makes it super comfortable to wear and i don't have the wig sitting on top of my ear hurting me nobody wants that so again as for the wig i'm gonna go ahead and take out these two little pieces of hair in the front I call them like little antlers and this is how I customize the hairline to my liking I don't really like when the hair goes straight across I tend to like when it just have a more natural realistic hairline almost like a widow's peak because I naturally have one now I'm not gonna be using any glue I'm gonna be using the my sticky little secret melt and spray and this is just going to melt that lace into my skin that way you cannot see the lace because even though this is glueless I still do not want to see the lace I want it to look clean and flawless and this wig you can wear it with absolutely no products whatsoever so now I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer on the cool set in and I'm going to just melt down the my sticky little secret melt and spray and I'm gonna cut away any little extra piece of lace that I do not need so again this is not a lace glue you can remove it with just water if you don't have this product you can even use hair mousse to basically melt down the lace that way you can't see the lace sitting on your forehead you want it to look nicely melted so I'm using my cuticle scissors to cut away the extra lace now I'm gonna go in with my melting band and usually I would leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes but I'm gonna leave it on for a bit longer because I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and like cut some layers into this hair. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut some layers. Listen, I am not a professional so do not judge my cutting skills but I don't think they were bad. So I just want to add some layers to the hair because I plan on curling this. I want you guys to see how it looks straight, but I also wanna see, I want you guys to see it curled as well. Now I'm just going in with the scissors and I like the way it looks, but I'm gonna cut some shorter layers in the front. And I kind of decided this afterwards, so I didn't show this clip, but are you seeing the melt? She is melted and I'm here for it. It looks amazing i absolutely love this hair color so much like it is so gorgeous it's like the perfect ginger shade like it's like a reddish orange i've done ginger quite a few times but this one has like kind of a red tone in it like it looks on the website it looks more red but the wig looks more like reddish orange if that makes any sense but yeah i'm gonna go in with some contour now and I'm just gonna use this to tint my lace a bit so it matches my skin better. And I use contour because I use contour 
when I do my makeup on my forehead area. And as you can see, I'm just flattening down that wig. I use my Sticky Little Secret Melting Spray. It acts as a hairspray and just melt down the, not melt it down, but just flatten down the wig because honestly, I don't really love using wax sticks because sometimes it can be a little greasy on the hair. So I decided not to use wax sticks. So this is how the hair looks straight. Absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. And this wig, you can also wear it in a side part if you choose to. But I decided to leave it in a center part because I haven't done a center part in a while. So yeah, this is how she's looking and the hairline looks nice and clean. Clean. Now we're gonna move on to curling. I'm gonna go in with my T3 curling iron. I'm telling you right now, I am not the greatest when it comes to curling. And I'm this close to getting the Dyson curler because it kind of does the job for you. But let me know in the comment section what you think of that curling iron. Now I'm gonna go in with the curling iron and I'm going to hold the curls for a bit. And I'm gonna be using my Velcro rollers because again, I don't want super tight curls, but I want to see volume in this wig. It already has volume because the density on this wig is about 200. So it is a very thick and full wig. But I wanted to add some rollers to give it kind of that blowout look. So. I'm gonna go in with the rollers and the front, I'm gonna curl it away from my face. I curled the rest of it under, but this one I curled away from my face. And I use the Got To Be Hairspray to curl. Now, as you can see, we sped things up a little bit and I did not leave it in for very, very long. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the Velcro rollers and I am loving the results so far. So I'm just removing those and you guys, the volume with this hair is just absolutely gorgeous and I love the fact that the layers that I cut turn out so good. This is probably my favorite layers I've ever done in a wig. I will probably be doing this more frequently. But yeah, this is pretty much how she is looking. Let me know in the comment section if you prefer the hair straight or you prefer it like this. I personally love it like this and I'm so here for it. I absolutely love this wig. It is so gorgeous. I love this color. I'm going to insert a picture of what it looks in natural lighting because I am using studio lights. So I'll show you what it looks like in natural lighting. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you learned something from this video. I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my channel and thank you for supporting. Bye.